Okay, hello again. This is problem two on our webpage. So, problem two deals with sums of digits. So, as an example, the sum of the digits of 2 to the 10th power, which is 1024, is 7. So, the question states, what is the sum of the digits of 2 to the 50th? So, back to our C++ programming. So, similar to the previous question, you know that 2 to the 50th is going to be a big number. So once again, just as precaution, use long long, which is a big variable, and you can initialize it to 2. And then you have an integer sum, which the sum of the digits is not going to be that big, certainly not going to blow the capacity of the integer. Starts at 0 because you haven't dealt with it yet. So now you need to generate 2 to the 50th. So what you can do is obviously run a for loop and say the value of num multiplies itself by 2 each time. Now you already found 2 to the first, which is when you initialized it here. 2 to the first is 2. So if the loop runs from 2 to 50, that's 49 more times you need to find it. So simply take the current value of num and multiply it by 2. So that will correctly give you 2 to the 50th. And just to show it as to why it's big, we can see out the number. So now the meat of the problem. How do you find the sum of digits? Well, obviously you have to look at each digit individually. So the way to kind of do that is the following. You need a while loop. You can use a for loop, of course, but a while loop here I think makes a little more logical sense. Um, what you need to do is look at the last digit of the number and add it to sum. Then you need to remove that last digit. To remove the last digit, you divide the current number by 10. And the reason for that is, say you divide 123 by 10, that will give you 12.3. And by integer rules in programming, you'll only be left with 12. So the trick is dividing by 10 will truncate the last digit. And when you're done, say you have 1 divided by 10, that leaves you 0 because you actually get 0 0.1 and by integer rules you're only left with 0. So while the number is bigger than 0, you're going to say the sum plus equals the last digit which is found by modding the number by 10. And now is when you change Excuse me, num is num divided by 10. That's when you change the value of the number, and the loop will repeat all the way through. And finally, you can say the sum of the digits. So running the program, let's see what we get. So as you can see, we get a big number for 2 to the 50th. So we get, for the sum, we get a value of 76. And just kind of looking at the surface of it, it looks pretty pretty good. Because you have three nines and eight floating in there are six. So that's good. So the sum of the digits of 2 to the 50th is indeed 76. So now let's see if we are correct. And the answer here, 76. So another program explained, um, you know, now you have two freebies. I'm not going to be too more, too much generous. Well, that was bad English. Uh, I'm not going to really keep going with a lot more of these freebies, but to give you a little bit more confidence, I'll do one more question, maybe on a slightly higher scale. So enjoy.
Once again, go to cstutoringcenter.com, register for free, and start climbing that leaderboard.